Well, hello hyperspace, my name is Devontos and it's time to get night because this is a really quick Infinite Warfare video and the reason it's really quick is because I'm not feeling so well, so I'm going to make this really quick, really easy, but really, really helpful. So we're actually going to look at a very, very powerful class that I actually discovered you can create using the FHR-40, preferably the Windfall variant, but if you have other weapons, I mean other variants of this weapon, it will work just fine. So let's get right into this. Okay, so in order for this class to work, you have to use a specific rig, and that rig is the Merc. You're gonna have to, it doesn't really matter what payload you use, but the trait is crucial. So let's actually go over here and check out Merc's payload and traits. Okay, so onto the payload, it doesn't matter which one you want to take, you can either take the Steel Dragon, or you can take the Shield, or the Armor, it doesn't really matter. I prefer to either take the Shield and the Armor, it just works better with my playstyle. Preferably the Armor, because you are going to be on the move, and you can activate the Armor to counter any gunfire that comes your way. Now, this one is crucial, you're going to need the Man at Arms trait. This one spawns you with max ammo because we all know the FHR-40 eats up a lot of ammunition, so you want to start off with max ammo, allowing you to use the gun for as long as possible before you run dry, assuming, you know, your character doesn't die. So we're gonna set that, we got our Merc, and let's actually go on to build the class. So, first gun we're gonna select here, go to the submachine guns, and it's the FHR-40. Any variant you would like, I prefer to use the Windfall, I mean, it's basically the best one there is. If you don't have it unlocked, that's fine, you can use any other variant you have. FHR-40. Now, for the attachments for this submachine gun. This submachine gun is very, very powerful at close range, it has a lot of recoil which makes it bad for long range. So we're gonna put grip, stabilize it, make it pretty re reusable at medium range, equip quick draw so we can beat everybody at close range, extended mags because it eats up a lot of ammunition, and finally we're going to include the rifled barrel because the range on this submachine gun isn't that great, so we want to extend the range as much as possible. So we're going to slap on rifled barrel, and you don't really have a lot of slots left over, so we're actually going to put ghost because everybody spams UAVs. And uh, for the last perk, you want to still put it on perk 1. Now here are your choices. You can actually put blind eye, which pairs well with ghost, which means you don't have to worry about any helicopters, wardens anyway, or any turrets or anything that the enemies want to place and get you down. So you can constantly be on the move without having to worry about kill streaks. But you're going to reload a little slow, and if that's the case, you can actually replace Blind Eye with, uh, what was it called, Dex Dexterity? Yeah, you want to replace Blind Eye with Dexterity, which allows you to reload much faster, but keep in mind that you can be spotted by the air support and the enemy, you know, robotics like the sentry guns and so on. And that's basically about it. You can select Blind Eye, Dexterity, whichever fits your playstyle. Try out this class, it is very, very powerful. If you like this video, punch that like button with a mighty force. You can follow me up on Twitter at DevontosMan. And as always, I'll see all of you in the next video. Have a nice day.